Okay, let's try another example of the same type uh, that we just did. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and write in what I know. I know that angle beta is 59. I know angle C is, of course, 90. I know side A measures 5. So write in what I know. I can visually see what I need to find in order to solve the triangle. Um, so I will begin like we did in the last problem. I'm going to find the, the missing angle first. The angle alpha is 180 minus 90 minus 59. So the angle alpha is going to be 31 degrees. Okay, next I need to find one of the sides. Again, it doesn't matter which side first. Um, you can kind of go with whatever one you want. Let's say on this one that we find, find side B next. Uh, again, pick whatever relationship you want. I'm gonna, let's, just to make it a little different, I'm gonna look at this angle. Um, so that if I use this angle, what I'm looking for is opposite. What I have is adjacent, opposite and adjacent is tangent. So I could say tangent of 59 degrees equals opposite, I'm trying to find B, divided by adjacent, which is five. Um, to solve this problem for the B, I'm gonna multiply both sides by five, and that gets B all by itself. I need to do five times the tangent of 59 degrees. Making sure my calculator is in degree mode, of course, I get 8.3. Okay, so we now have this side. Uh, let me go ahead and just do another trig problem just to show that we can do it this way. Uh, we could of course do Pythagorean's theorem like we did in the last example and find C. Let's say I don't want to do Pythagorean's theorem, okay? Uh, let's say I don't want to use this in further calculations because this is a rounded number and if I use this it's gonna uh, erode some of the accuracy on this one. So let's just say we don't use that. And I'm gonna still I'm gonna still utilize this 59 degree angle. Now I'm looking for opposite and I have adjacent. Um, adjacent uh, I'm looking for hypotenuse, I'm sorry. Um, if I have adjacent, I'm looking for hypotenuse. The trig function that uses adjacent and hypotenuse is cosine. So cosine of 59 degrees equals adjacent, which is five, divided by hypotenuse, which is C. So this is a, because of the location of the unknown, the variable, this is a two-step problem to solve. I'm gonna multiply the C across first, leaving me with C times the cosine of 59 equals five. I can divide both sides by the cosine 59 and I'll get C all by itself. This is again calculator work. I get C to be to the nearest tenth 9.7 and with that the triangle is solved. Okay how about some application or some story problems. Um, this one here says a guy wire from the top of a transmission tower at WJBC forms a 75 degree angle. So this guy wire forms a 75 degree angle with the ground um, at a distance of 55 feet from the base of the tower. Um, how tall is the tower? So here I've got this wire stretching up to the top of this tower. I'm trying to find the height of this tower. And in doing so, I've constructed a right triangle. Um, I wanna know that side right there. 
So from this angle given to me, this 75 degree angle, I have the adjacent, 55. I'm looking for the hypotenuse. Um, not the hypotenuse. Looking for the opposite. Sorry. The hypotenuse over here, I'm not interested in. I don't care how long the wire is. Um, so opposite and adjacent. Which trig function uses opposite and adjacent? And the answer would be tangent. So tangent of 75 degrees equals the opposite length, which I don't know. You know, call it whatever you want. Call it x over the adjacent 55. Solve this equation by multiplying both sides by 55. So on the calculator, we're going to do 55 times the tangent of 75 degrees. I get 205 point, I'm going to do 26, the units are feet. And that's the height of the tower, and we've got it. Okay, one more application problem. It says, Kirsten places her surveyor's telescope on the top of a tripod five feet above the ground. She measures an angle of elevation of eight degrees above horizontal to the top of a tree. That is 120 feet away. How tall is the tree? So I am after this height here. Um, now essentially all I need to find then is this height. And then I'll just add 5 to it. Um, so we're going to use just the right triangle. I'm just going to ignore that and just use this right triangle. Um, now from the 8 degrees, I am looking for the opposite. I have the adjacent. The hypotenuse over here, we don't have and we're not trying to find. So we're not going to use a trig function involving hypotenuse. We're going to use one that involves opposite and adjacent. Um, opposite and adjacent is again a tangent ratio. Tangent of 8 degrees equals opposite I don't know over adjacent 120. Uh, to solve this we'll multiply both sides by 120. And so we get x equals and calculator work here 16 point I'll say 86 feet. Now that's not the answer to how tall is the tree. Um, that's how tall the tree is minus the five feet here that was the the height of the surveyor's telescope. So we need to to find the height of the tree. We need to take our 16.86 that we found and we need to add 5 to it. So it is 21.86 feet. And done.